The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Since when are Assiniboine and Braves fighters of women? Don't be frightened, they're gone. You're, you're a white man. She's not an Indian, she's a white woman. Who are you, ma'am? I'm, I'm Martha. Martha Wales. Chad. My baby. My baby. Chad. You're a white man. You can help me. Help me find my baby, please. White woman very sick. Take to trading post. Eighteen years ago, we had a little cabin. My husband and my three-year-old son, Chad. And then two white men came. They had an argument with my husband. They killed him. They gave me and my boy to some Indians. I, I don't know what tribe. How long were you with them, Mrs. Wales? Less than a week. The shaman. You know the medicine man? He took Jed away from me. And he, he sold me to some Indians from another tribe. Over the years, I, I was sold again and again as a slave to other tribes. The only thing that kept me going was the hope that Someday, I'd escape and find my boy. I beg you, please. Please help me find my boy. That's a tall order, Mrs. Wales. This is a big country, and 18 years is a long time. Even if Jed were alive, we don't even know what he looks like. Now you get some rest. And when you feel stronger, we'll talk about it some more. <laughs> I wonder what the Assiniboine were doing so far east. They follow white woman slave any place. We saw two of them, but Mrs. Whale says the whole tribe's moving east. Well, maybe they follow deer and buffalo. Hunger greater than fear of Ojibwa. Maybe. I can't find out very much from her. Every time I ask her why the Assiniboine are on the move, all she talks about is finding her son. We look for him. I'd like to help her, but after 18 years, the chances are pretty slim. Does Assiniboine bother me? Sleep. We get attacked by Indians. Please be careful. The wound isn't too serious. Help me get him inside.
you on your way here when the Indians attacked you? No. They surprised us out at our farm. First thing we knew, an, an arrow hit John, and I dragged him into the barn. Did you get a good look at them? I certainly did. There were a dozen of the savages. They set fire to our house, and, and then when they were just about to do the same thing to the barn, the white man stopped them. The white man? Yes, the one who was leading them. A young fellow he was. He was dressed like an Indian. He was covered with war paint. Where do they live? The Lees, the last farm past the hill. The Indians have a legend that one day their great god, the Manitou, will send them a white prophet to unite them and get the land back for the red men. Prophet is white eagle. Legends say sun, of moon, and stars. Well, I was wondering about the white Indian that Mrs. Lee told us about. Tie that in with all those tribes coming into this territory, and we'd better make it our business to look into this. Goodbye, Mr. Boncourt. Goodbye, Mrs. Lee. I think you'll be all right. Thank you. Bye. It's Cree village. I hope they're friendly. We go into village? Yeah. We may have to fight our way out. Quiet. They don't like us here. Yeah, like the lull before the storm. Hawkeye seek White Eagle. Have message for a white prophet of Manitou. You mean the Cree nations have taken a vow of silence? Why? No good try to make Cree talk. They have great secret. Tongue be silent. We leave in peace. Well, the chief's message tells us something. If they won't tell us where White Eagle is, we'll have to find someone who will. Many tribes not belong this land. No sign of White Eagle. Another thing, all the tribes seem to be on the move, but where to? Well, my brother knows that once each year, medicine men have secret power. Maybe that's where we find White Eagle. Yeah, that's a thought. If we could trail one of those medicine men, maybe we can. We seek the prophet of the Manitou, White Eagle. Can you show us his path? That pan! I'm not going to hurt it. Did you get it from the copper man? Where did you see him? Thank you. Chingachgook, how far into the territory did you go this trip? Uh, as far as the foothills beyond the big Ojibwe village, ten miles back. I was stopped there. Stopped by who? Sun Bear, the Ojibwe medicine man. He ordered me out of the country. First time it ever happened, too. You hear of White Eagle? Nothing definite. But I might have seen him. Where? That same Ojibwe village. Stayed overnight there. Saw a young man step out of the council teepee. When he saw me, he stepped right back in. I'd have sworn he was white. And you not see him again? The Ojibwa took care of that. You say he was a young man. I judge he was in his early 20s. Well, that's about all I can tell you. Well, thanks, Copper Man. I guess Chingachgook and I have got a couple of chores to do. Bye. Bye, Copper Man. Come on, boy, let's go.
If all tribes go on warpath at word of Manitou's white prophet, much trouble two men to stop. Yeah, two men, maybe. But I'm not so sure about one woman. Woman? White Eagle's mother. Oh, legend says mother of White Eagle is Moon. Well, I think that White Eagle's mother is the woman we found wandering around in the forest, Mrs. Wales. Well, there's one way to find out. We'll go into the Ojibwa village and see what happens. Come in peace. I am Hawkeye, the Long Rifle. My blood brother Chingachgook and I greet the chiefs of the Cree, Ojibwa, Sinniboine, Naperse, Groventer. I seek the White Eagle. I have reason to believe he is here. Hawkeye lie. He does not come in peace. He comes to destroy White Eagle. I do speak the truth. Where is the White Eagle? I want to talk to him about peace. I want to tell him about his mother. The White Eagle's mother is the moon. You do not come from the skies. You bring a false message. If the White Eagle is your great prophet, he will know the truth. Let me speak to him. Sun Bear right. Hawkeye come with false tongue. Many red men die by his long gun. My long rifle is only for peace, to hunt game for myself and my friends. We are at peace. You are our white man. Your people are our enemies. The white eagle's skin is white. Is he your enemy? He is prophet, sent by Manitou. I have fished by the stream. Manitou sent me fish. I have hunted in the forest. Manitou sent me game. I have sat in council with many great chiefs. Manitou sent us wisdom. Look at White Eagle. Isn't he a white man? If his flesh were cut, wouldn't he bleed? If his eyes were closed, wouldn't he be blind? If his heart were stilled, wouldn't he die? White Eagle can never die! Manitou has made my skin white to remind me to hate white men. But my heart is red with love I hold for my people. Those who follow me will live, even on warpath. A story told you by the medicine man. You're white. Your mother is white. She was held a slave by many tribes. Now she's free. You lie. I am Indian. I am White Eagle. Manitou sent me to Sun Bear to unite tribes, to drive you and your people into the sea. Let me bring the white woman here, my brothers. She will tell you the truth, and we all can live in peace. White Eagle has spoken. Go, false tongue. If you and renegade brother are in Ojibwa land, when sun go down, you die. Many two whispers in my ear. Hawkeye and Chingachgook must be killed. Manitou's will is mine. Why we run like sheep? Well, if White Eagle is Mrs. Wales, son, and we can get him face to face and prove it, we might put an end to this White Prophet story. Do you hear anything? It's too quiet.
And behind us, too. When I give the word, you turn and shoot in back of us. I'll shoot ahead, and we'll break for the river. No good. They'll just follow us to the trading post. We might never get a chance to prove who White Eagle really is. I'll try to hold them off. You go get Mrs. Wales. Do you no go? Me no go. No, you go get her and take her to the Ojibwa village. I'll meet you there somehow. Now go. After sun go down. You've got a false story, Red Stick. I wasn't captured on Ojibwa land. <laughs> Is this man one who stole your slave? Sure, she was a slave. But I'm sure that she's White Eagle's mother. Again, that lie. I kill. We bring him back for stealing woman's slave, not for being in Ojibwa land. What say Hawkeye now? I didn't steal her. Her husband was killed by a white renegade, and her son was sold to a medicine man 18 years ago. When did White Eagle come to your tribe? And who brought him, if not Sun Bear, the medicine man? This evil tongue must be torn out. Jed? Jed, baby? Where, where are you, Jed? 
Which of you took my son? Where is my son? Which of you took my baby? Oh, God. Have you found my son? Look there. Think hard, Mrs. Wales. That's White Eagle. Is he your boy? I... can't remember. He was so small. I don't know. Take that woman away. Why does Sun Bear fear this woman's tongue? He brought you White Eagle 18 years ago. This woman lost her child in those days. Let her be heard. Speak. Jed? You are Jed. Don't you remember that little red wagon father made for you? Don't you remember? I'm not white man. I remember only Sun Bear. But you are just Jed's age. You must be Jed. I only kept alive to find you. You are, Jed. You have no son. Don't strike. She has no mind. Manitou speaks to me. Kill that man and this woman. Their evil turns White Eagle from us. Kill them, and tomorrow we drive out all white men forever. <laughs> With one stroke, I can kill Sun Bear. I call on the Ojibwa law. Sun Bear wants my life. I have his. I ask the right of battle. You know Ojibwa law well, Hawkeye. Release Sun Bear. Sun Bear, let woman go. She must die. You are breaking sacred law. You who taught me. My eyes are open. Hear me. Sun Bear named me White Eagle. But I know I am just a man. I am not a prophet. Sun Bear hears not words of Manitou, but evil of his heart. The punishment of Sun Bear I leave to the Ojibwa. It will be just. Mother always remembers son. Son must sometimes be taught to remember mother. This is a great land we have here. Many people and many tribes. The Manitou smiles upon this land where all men can live together. It is so. And may all tribes live in peace. We live in peace. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.